Good morning out there, out there, in there, out there, from in here, where we're just so out here, because we're really out here. As you can see, Vivi down. See how good she is? <laughs> Vivi down, down. Here you got your biscuit. Yeah. Well, where were we? The sun was coming up. Hi, sweetie. You want some coffee? No, I don't think so. I didn't think so. Oh, but there's Vivi's nose, and there's her nose, and here's first slurp, Charlie Bryce, huh? Charlie's the slurper. And, mmm, poet of authenticity, as I call it. Oh, boy. Hey, we really, well, how can you not love it here? And don't think it's not, there ain't no pride in this. This is, we searched 40 years to find out where we belong. And here it is. This is where we belong. And you're welcome here anytime because you would like it. And how can you not? Pond's frozen over. I'll be skating this afternoon. I've been working on my uh, triple axle. And uh, so far, it's about a half an axle, but we're getting there. We're getting there. And Julie's done, you, you, we, we divide up the duties. I do the things that are fun. And Julie kills herself with every technical thing there is in this house. Now, of course, things happen that you don't know. Now, the other day, so we came into this house. It was fully inspected. So we came in, ha, confident about the whole place. Well, let's see what started. Everything overflowed, and there was water everywhere, so we had that. And then we had to have the chimney taken. These people came at once. Two plumbers, wonderful guys, brothers, one about 5'8", the other one about 6'4". Great guys. Here, a root ball, this big, had, uh, they had cut an electrical line. No, no, the gas no. line. Bored the gas line through the They septic. bored a gas line through the water line. Through the septic. Septic system. <laughs> yeah. The septic, septic yeah. <laughs> okay, can we start this over again? <laughs> Vivi's enjoying the view. That's a good thing. I'm getting these comments about I don't know what I'm doing here on Thursday. See, that's part of what I'm trying to uh, start a movement. The uh, quit worrying about what you're doing movement. Yeah. Boy, the sun <clears throat> is really coming up. <clears throat> um, sun comes up. Here we watch it go down last night. And there was a star this morning when I woke up, you know, just, that's, where was I? Oh, we had everybody in the house at once. <laughs> the, the fireplace guy was here, two plumbers, uh, a water guy, a color man, man. Mm -hmm. um, a painter, mm -hmm. and we keep finding these things. Wait a minute, this is not, this doesn't work. This is broken. And the stuff that was left behind, we're finding, <laughs> you know, those riding mowers in the woods. Now there's a place to put it. <laughs> and something else is in there that we can't figure out what it is. So we're calling them sculptures as we take our walks. We should paint them. Pardon? We should paint them. We should paint them, <laughs> multicolors. Yes, get Oxbow out here. Get to work, right, Vivian? Isn't she? Look, no, no, that's the way. Do you know that she, after two days here, she goes out on her own, seven acres, wanders around, all of a sudden you hear, Hoo, and there she is at the front door. Why can't they tell us? I, I mean, really, why? There must be hundreds of things she knows. Of course, when they dug up that, no, we won't go to the septic system. Let's leave that out. Let's slurp. Oh, boy. Let me see what's in that. 
little black book. Oh, yes. Well, I uh, welcome to the sentimentalist. Morning, Mark, Mariana. Jeff Monroe has an important new book out about people who have gone through trauma. Look for that. M-U-N-R-O-E, Jeff. Um, we're all moved. I don't even know what that says. Um, we just don't know how to thank everybody, though, who helped. And it was so fun. Everybody was so good. Oh, and the television guy was here. Right? We had the television set up. Yes, did. The sound system. See, this is the difficulty when you're uh, rural. <laughs> uh, because you're rural with a 48-foot TV and a sound system throughout the house and uh, 16 bathrooms and, uh, you know, now rural really meant outhouse, no TV, <laughs> two books, and get to work. That's what, but this is, this is different, you know. And the movers were really, then there's the movers, four guys. Um, four wonderful guys. We had the best time with them. Now, uh, they put everything that belonged downstairs in the garage and everything that belonged in the garage in the bedroom. But other than that, these four guys were so fun to be with. And they worked 13 hours. See, we're living rural. So we had uh, four men in two trucks and their biggest trucks. And they said, oh yeah, we left that back at the house. That was another phrase. So we had to have an extra day. <coughs> and then they were to take the junk, all the junk. Uh, we have three dishes out front because we're rural. Uh, not one dish to get reception, three, none of them work. We had to have them hallway. It's it's sort of a, a, a high tech uh, media Golgotha. Because <laughs> they're, they're set up like that. You know? Gotta help. Well, here, 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 here. And um, and I'm not going to forgive them because they knew what they were doing. Yeah. And um, so anyway, these movers, they were they're terrific. And, and I have a lot today, and I'm going to go short because we need to, uh, reasons. Uh, that part of the house fell in. Um, <laughs> the movers were so <laughs> fun to be with. And 13 hours. And they never griped once. I never heard them once. And I'd st I stayed with them. And one guy, Jesse, was one of I asked them all about themselves and where they're from. You may have told this story last week. I told that last week, didn't I? Because they came Wednesday. And we do this on Thursday. Oh, I better go to page two. You could talk about the junk Thank haulers. <laughs> the junk haulers were great. Too. Oh, the junk haulers were terrific, too. Isn't that great? I mean, you get up in the morning and say, you know what I'm going to do? I don't even have to worry about dropping this thing. This is junk. <laughs> And they just kept loading up junk, except those three dishes. I don't know how to get rid of the, no, you know what I'm talking about. The big, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Vivi's off leash, of course, so I don't have anybody coming out of a house yelling at me, put her on leash! <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. My heart is calming. At my age, somebody screams at me, put her on leash. I get worried. I, I, I don't take it well. My heart uh, takes a year off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I tried when we moved. We brought all this, everything. I tried that uh, thing. Come on, give me a break. This person's probably made millions of dollars off this hoax. <clears throat> Pick up the object. Put it in your hand. Does it bring you joy? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Everything brings me joy. It is, of course it does. Of course it does. Why Why else is, is it here? Except the three dishes. 
no, that doesn't work. And I and I want to say, I, I'm trying to finish up, Julia. She's checking her watch. <laughs> um, you know, we, we had trouble with Thanksgiving. There were people who said Thanksgiving shouldn't be and thank you. But what they didn't know was, yes, the original Thanksgiving story that we were taught in fourth grade, that was a big mistake and it was unfortunate and those teachers should not be blamed. But Thanksgiving actually went away and then it came back and it was Lincoln during the Civil War that said we need to have Thanksgiving, something to unite us. So let's not worry about it's wrong to have Thanksgiving, okay? Because there's another Thanksgiving. And you know what? Let's have it every day. Yeah. Well, the big new survey's out, and it's a, a bit a bit amusing, but that's sort of self-conscious uh, making. Um, and they're recognizing, and our daughter who teaches certainly recognizes, that people have lost their attention, ability to pay attention. They don't see. And one of the things in poetry that I always taught was my students to see. Don't just look. Don't just notice, oh, there's a tree, oh, there's a skunk. No, look, see, stop, see it, see it. See it brings you and it. Something happens when you see it. But people can't, they, they can't see. And the attention spans of these generations are zip. You ever watch an ad on TV? What? There's no continuum. So please. And I taught in 1971 all about paying attention. It wasn't about mastery. They, when they read the, uh, say, Walden, it wasn't about giving them a test about mastery of the Walden. They forgot it two weeks later. It was about you and Henry and what mattered between you and Henry. And so I was instructed to give an objective test and one of the things was fill in the blank. So I handed out 15 blanks. And I told them put in, use, you know, at least 10 of the different books we've used and fill in the blanks with something important that you paid attention to, okay? And that's why this poem today, and I'm gonna keep uh, haranguing you about this. I want everybody to see again. You saw when you were little. Flirt. Man, that's good. So speaking of our being rural, paying attention, seeing, really see, seeing. Like this. See him? So here's our poem and and it's called Love in the Midwest. The flower pot, the old sock, the tire iron, the wall socket, the chair, the rake, the spoon, the plate, the house, the town, the train. Oh, take care, be kind, try to be cheerful, and thanks for all your nice notes. Oh. Mm -hmm.